We got news, big news. The NFL reinstating Patriots wide receiver Josh Gordon. Josh Gordon is back. We've said it before. We're saying it again. Josh Gordon is back. What is his fantasy value and impact on the other Patriots players? Where did you rank him? Who does it hurt? Who does it help? I need three more questions. Um, Can you get three more questions out of the Josh Gordon news? There's one. Is Nikhil Harry still your number one pick for Dynasty drafts? Oh, there's two. Okay. Is Bill Belichick a big Josh Gordon fan? Oh, he did it. Number three. Oh. Look, I'll jump in here. My initial rankings of Josh Gordon, he he came in at 39. That I need more news to know is like because it's a conditional reinstatement. We still need more things to unfold. As in, is this all sil- all seasons seasons all cylinders go for week one? If it is. Then Josh Gordon will actually move up in my he, rankings. Last year, I say last year in games where Rob Gronkowski did not play, you saw a monster uptick in Josh Gordon production. You're talking an extra 30 yards a game, an extra three targets a game. Like we we've talked about, who's going to be the fill-in? Who's who's going to you know fill those holes for for Tom Brady with Rob Gronkowski out? And Josh Gordon, well, you couldn't put him in the equation because of his. Uh, being on the commissioner's list, not being able to play. We don't know if he's going to come back. But now that he is back, the answer to who will fill in that hole the most is Josh Gordon for me. I don't disagree. He had as impressive of a 12-game debut in the Patriots offensive system as a player can have last year. Missed, obviously, the three playoff games. Missed the last two regular season games as well. It has a big impact to me on Nikhil Harry's upside. For the season, if Josh Gordon's on the field. Well, so does his surgery. Nikhil Harry's recent surgery. Nikhil Harry, yeah. I mean, you, in Dynasty Leagues, are you adjusting your perspective on Harry? I still think Harry is great, will be great. But if I'm if I'm in a rookie draft right now, I'm going to take one of the running backs at number one just because I want to soak up that value immediately. And now and now Harry's path to immediate, uh, immediate fantasy value, I think, is diminished. Okay, uh, Julian Edelman, Mike, you're the most bullish in the office. Um, I think it has little impact on him. I think it I has. Agree. I think it helps Brady. Yes, give him a reliable target when you lose Gronkowski and such. Yeah, I mean it's it's good, and and the the reality is if you're doing a draft right now, Josh Gordon, it's going to take him a while to get all the way up to his peak ADP. That's what happens whenever a player comes in. People don't know where to draft them. Should I take them in the oh the seventh, the sixth, the fifth? Then eventually people will start taking them in the the fourth or or around there. But I do want to caution people right now. As of right now, I believe he's full go for week one. He can't play in this preseason uh, game, but he is ready to go for week one. We haven't heard from the Patriots if he's just the de facto starter yet. But he's not without risk, right? Like we have many years of Josh Gordon on and off the field. He has been reinstated many times before and never unfortunately been able to stick with it. So everyone that is just like, oh, he's going to be the clear number one for the Patriots and you're getting him at a value, I just, I, I, I caution you that I hope he, I mean, for the man, I really hope he can stick with it, have a great season. I, I, look, if he finishes this year with 16 games, it will be the first time he does so since his rookie season in 2012. Also, I was thinking of, of DK Metcalf with the knee surgery. That was the recent news. Harry's been banged up, but no surgery. Yeah, yeah. I was I was confusing the K sound. Um, <laughs> you don't want to do that, Mike. <laughs> uh, just to piggyback on what you're saying, Jason, I I look at it as an opportunity to trade Josh Gordon. I mean, sure. that, that's kind Absolutely. of if you've that's got him in I, dynasty. That's the way I'm looking at it. Is okay. I have somebody I could trade now. Can I'm, you do it though? I've had people come after him. Oh, I've had have three you? or four people come after him right away. But are they low ball offers? Yes. Yeah. Has anyone come with anything substantial for him? Yeah, they've been okay. I mean, there's been a couple of okay ones. People love the mystery. They love the one. Josh Gordon has done the things that fantasy owners need a player to do to get them hot and bothered which is have a number one fantasy season at the wide receiver position, run rough shot over defensive and uh, defensive backs. Last year even, 18 a catch for Josh Gordon. He just lives down the field. He may, And now, now, now who's the best red zone weapon that this team has? Josh Gordon. Could be. 
Yeah, I Could still stay I, mean, with, he's in I still stick with Jules, but yeah. But if you gave me 16 games for both players, I think Gordon has more touchdowns than yeah, Julian oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, so that's fine. Oh, hey, I was just doing some trades. Got some good players here. Uh, why don't you click subscribe and I'll share my secrets. <laughs>